Tensions are running high at college campuses across America, with universities now at the center of the controversy over Israel's war in Gaza. At several schools, pro-Palestinian groups were at a standoff with police throughout the day. Here's ABC's Tim Pilliam reporting some of those protests ended with arrests. College campuses in chaos. Students across the U.S. protesting Israel's war in Gaza. At USC in Los Angeles, demonstrators clashing with police as they closed in, taking down their signs and tents. ABC's Matt Gutman on the scene. But as they've been chanting behind us, this cordon of security that we've been seeing has gotten closer and closer. This evening, LAPD officers with batons and shields moving in at USC in Los Angeles after protesters refused to disperse. At the University of Texas, Austin, a sea of students on the march. We're not okay with our tuition, our money going towards genocide. We want the university to divest from death. When Texas troopers in riot gear and on horseback moved in, ABC's Maria Villarreal caught in the middle. What are you doing, guys? What are you doing? At least 20 students arrested, the governor calling it an unauthorized protest. Boos greeted U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson at Columbia University, where these pro-Palestinian protests started. A growing number of students have chanted in support of terrorists. They have chased down Jewish students. They have mocked them and reviled them. They have shouted racial epithets. Johnson speaking one-on-one -on -one with ABC's Lindsay Davis. But for people who are just saying, we simply don't like the way the Palestinians are being treated and killed. That's a different conversation. Have that conversation. Have a debate. We believe in the free expression of ideas and the free marketplace of ideas. That is not what is happening here. And Johnson is urging President Biden to stop the demonstrations, even if it takes the National Guard. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.